So I'm walking downtown, playing my Game Boy like a total weirdo, and uh, I don't know what it was, but you know, the light must have just hit this thing at a certain angle or whatever it was, but I decided that I just, I'm, I'm really not happy with how this looks. Um, so for those who aren't familiar, this is my Funny Playing IPS SP, um, but this is the V1 kit. This is for the Game Boy Advance. I shoved it in a Game Boy Advance SP, uh, which at the time, because there were no Game Boy Advance SP kits and there wasn't even one announced, again, at the time. Um, yeah, I do have my V2 kit and the kit itself is much better, much cleaner, but the existence of this kit does not negate the existence of this kit. I'm not going to just throw this Game Boy out because I have the other kit, um, but just... As a refresher here, here's what the screen looks like when it's off. I just have a completely transparent lens and I have that black gasket surrounding it. And if you turn it on, you can see I got the screen super off center and crooked. So that's wonderful. Um, anyway, the problem is I'm not happy with how this turned out. I came up with a couple solutions. Uh, the first one that I thought of you know, you can just buy the LCD. It's $12 to get the laminated one. I can buy that, drop it in here, call it a day. It would work just fine. Uh, it would still be the V1 kit. So it would still be, um, it would still have that screen tearing issue. It would still be a little bit laggy. Uh, but it would work just fine. It's $12, done deal. Well, $12 plus shipping. Um, option two. I can take this apart, peel this screen off hopefully don't break it, and um, do what I did before and just try and stick on a regular Game Boy Advance SP lens, uh, obviously not this one, but you know, stick one of these to the screen, cut off a little bit of pixels, I have no idea why the tape is stuck to it, and um, call it a day, but I wasn't happy with that in the first place, so I took it apart. Option three, and this is what I'm leaning towards, I'm going to try and shove one of these things in there. Uh, so, turns out, I'm not the first person to use a Game Boy Advance lens on a Game Boy Advance SP, but what I have here are three different lenses. The first one is just for comparison's sake. This is a normal Game Boy Advance lens. Uh, nothing special about it, aside from the fact that it's aftermarket and it's glass. But, if you take a look and compare the two, you can see the cutout on this front lens is smaller for a smaller LCD because this lens here is a funny playing IPS lens. This one did not come with any of the kits. This is one I brought separately. It has gold lettering. I think it I think I think it'll look pretty decent in the purple shell assuming I can get it to work. But unfortunately it is going to cut off some of the text here. Not a whole lot I can do about that unless I start cutting on the shell, but that's not the plan. Not yet at least. Um, but I just wanted to show off the bezels you can see how much wider the funny playing kit is how much you're getting how much you're cutting off if you use one of these lenses another interesting thing of note is the text quality the uh this is just a generic aftermarket lens from aliexpress nothing special but the text on the funny playing kit is so much cleaner so much more crisp than the text on this thing I don't know what it is. I don't know why these are so cheap, or I guess that's exactly what it is. They're cheap, so they do it as cheap as possible. Uh, but I'm not going to use this lens. It'll fit, but it's like the worst compromise I can make. I do have this lens, though, just in case. Um, now, I can probably fit this one just fine, but this one might fit better. What this is, this is the lens that came with this kit originally. This is that off-center one that they were shipping with the V1 kits. They now ship centered ones on V2 kits. But the plan is to use this one, but worst case scenario, I'll use that one. Anyway, got to get this thing taken apart. Of course, I'm going to take apart a perfectly working Game Boy and uh, probably break it. But that's how, that's how I roll. In the off chance I do break the screen, which again, the plan is to not break it, but with how my luck's been going lately, all my other projects, <laughs> flash reader, um, 
I might end up having to drop a new LCD in this thing. If it does come to that, I do already have a spare LCD. I picked up a spare LCD because it was eight bucks and uh, I was already ordering other stuff so shipping was free and I figured you know with my luck spare LCD might be nice to have. Luckily these aftermarket shells are a lot easier to take apart than the OEM ones. Again taking apart this Game Boy. I think I made a comment about taking this thing apart so frequently during one of my last installs. But it's nice because the pads aren't glued down. Oh, I guess it's not that nice because it does mean they're easier to lose. But as far as taking it apart, it's super easy. So in this case, my top was stuck down to a little bit of the adhesive sticking out. Plan is I'm just going to separate the LCD. Oh, I forgot I stuck it down. Well, it should come up without too much trouble. Oh. Oh, there we go. I, I wasn't nervous for a second. So there's the LCD. I'm just going to leave this foam attached because it's pretty much glued on. Um, I'll end up reusing it. But I'll come back to that in a second. So I'm not going to bother test fitting that in there. This lens does physically fit in here. I mean, it, I guess it doesn't really make that big of a difference, but I just wanted to show that it fits in between the screw posts. I don't want to have to work around that ribbon, so I'm going to pop into my back stock here. Just need the top half. So the lens itself should, in fact does, fit right in there like that. It clears all of the screw posts except for the top one, and if we uh, just completely ignore the top one, or all the top ones rather, we can move the screen up just enough so that it fits in the... It shows the logo too, but I don't... I'm not too keen on the logo. I mean, I suppose we could always trim the plastic, but it's also going in a clear shell, so that, that should help a little bit. But I think that'll fit nicely like that. I'm just going to have to stick the screen to it and uh, panic when nothing fits. Speaking of, see here's what I was concerned about. I couldn't test this fit earlier until I got the screen out. The edge of the LCD is right about where the edge of my uh, tape is. If I put the edge on the lens here... LCD itself sticks out a little bit. I don't think it's going to fit. I think I'll have to use the off-center lens. Or maybe it'll fit. I mean, hell, they centered, they centered this one. It's got to fit. Yeah. I'll play with it. So... As far as taking this apart goes, my plan is to use heat and some fishing line. I think I should be able to slip it in here. Um, I certainly wouldn't mind breaking the lens to salvage the screen, but if push comes to shove, of these two, which one is going to break? Probably the LCD first. So I'm going to try and use some heat to weaken the LCD. And I guess try and slide some fishing line in there to pull it off. Um, let me go grab my heat gun and let me go grab some fishing line. Or I might use floss, I don't know. I think in this case floss would work just fine and it would probably be easier. Regardless, I will be right back. Through the power of TV magic, I now have a heat gun. 
I um, also went and grabbed some uh, fishing line here. I bought this a while back because I had to replace the uh, digitizer on a tablet with a laminated screen. The digitizer itself, dirt cheap. No problems there. The LCD on the other hand was super expensive, so the plan was to uh, cut it off, it being the digitizer, so I can replace it. Um, long story short, that didn't turn out too well, but this stuff performed fine. This is this was great. So this is uh, not very expensive fishing line, but uh, it is very heavy duty. Um, I don't know how well you can see that, but it is pretty thick here. So if I uh, measure it, you know, you can see stuff is uh, 0.4 millimeters, nice and thick. But if we take a look at some floss on the other hand, let's uh, get that right in the middle of it. You can see how much thinner that is. So the fishing line at was like 0 0.14, I think. Uh, the fishing line is, of course, going to be a lot stronger than the floss. But in this particular case, I don't think it's going to make a difference. So I'm just going to use the floss. I don't think I need the extra strength from the fishing line. And I'd rather use the thinner stuff to try and bend this even less. Uh, the plan is to stick the floss between the uh, sticky gasket and the lens itself and then just literally use it as a saw and saw off the lens and hopefully I don't break anything. Uh, I'm going to use some heat to try and help loosen the adhesive so uh, headphones users you know the drill. Here we go. So the idea here, and sorry if you can barely hear me over the uh, heat gun, um, I'm holding it in my hand and hitting it with a heat gun from far enough away that I'm obviously not burning myself. Um, my theory on the matter is if it's too hot for my hand, it's too hot for the plastics in this thing. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna overheat and ruin this. I just wanna get it hot enough to weaken the adhesive. Um, ideally, I suppose a hair dryer would probably work better, but you know, you gotta work with what you got. I don't have a hair dryer. So I can tell it's working nicely to, the heat is working nicely to soften the adhesive. Problem is that I can't really get this in between. Ooh, maybe that was the trick, hang on. Salvaging this gasket would be nice, but I'm not married to the idea. If it needs to go, it needs to go. Alright, so I'm through. I just need to try and work my way around the whole screen, and I'm probably going to have to stop and reintroduce some heat along the way. Tremendously shitty grip on this floss. I think this will go quicker once I get out of the corner. Probably not.
I think it's time for more heat. I might end up pausing the video while I work my way through this. Because I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Especially if I have to keep pausing to add more heat. I suppose a pro of the glass lens in this case is that it retains the heat a little bit longer. It has better uh, thermal characteristics than plastic does. We almost just pulled the floss out. Yeah, the problem is it's not so much as cutting, but more dragging. It keeps sliding off my fingers. I'm going to try this stuff. I'm just going to cut off plenty. And I can't even cut through it with my uh, wire cutters. Alright, my flush cutters, Jesus, okay, good enough, stuff is much thicker. Oops, framing, sorry. Oh yeah, see, look at how much quicker that's going. One, uh, I guess, side effect of the uh, fishing line is that it's braided, which, while that does not mean serrated, it actually kind of, sort of works as a serrated blade through the adhesive if I like drag it back and forth. I can do this. I think it's time for more heat. Yeah. I was fucking with that too long. On the bright side, this feels like it's going really well. Oh yeah, see how that just slid through? That was beautiful. The miracle of heat. And now I have quite the cleanup ahead of me, but I didn't break the lens, and I'm pretty sure I didn't break the screen either. Let's find out. I'm not going to bother cleaning it up if I broke it, you know? No, I did break it. Or it's not plugged in. Hopefully it's just not plugged in. Oh, 
Oh, that sucks. Super hardcore. Well, there we go. That was a fantastic waste of time. Let's double check, though. Because if something just got unplugged along the way. No, it's the LCD. Damn. Well, I guess bright side, I don't have to bother cleaning it up. Glass half full, am I right? All right? Where's the foam? How did I lose the foam? Oh, maybe there wasn't any. Never mind. I'm just gonna try it one more time. Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, that's not gonna work. I managed to rip it. Oh, that sucks. Damn it. I didn't break the LCD, I just broke the ribbon cable. Yep. Balls. Well. Nothing. Like I said, though, at least it saves us some time to clean up. Put this heat gun away. Okay. I want to peel that off later, but I think it's for the best that I peel it off now. That's an interesting way to play SP. Okay. So for clarification, I guess, this is going to center nicely over that. My concern is how much the LCD sticks out on the side. I think it'll be fine. It'll probably be fine. But, just wanna make sure. So yeah, looks like everything fits fine. You just gotta line it up and uh, stick it down. So here is the worst part because there's guaranteed to, get, to be dust. You know what? A trick I learned recently. Right, it took me this long. Masking tape. That'll take care of all the dust. Masking tape is entirely too good at that. Not perfect, but it's too late to go back, so 
Good enough. So that fits in there nicely, except that I do have to trim this top post a little. That's fine. I can work with that. So bummed about that. Like I'm not bummed that I broke the screen. I kind of expected to break the screen. I'm bummed that I broke the screen by ripping the ribbon cable because that's just ah, it sucks. Okay, we'll quit whining about it now though. So as far as this top part. I only need to remove up to the screw hole itself, a little below it. I don't really want to mark it off because this is a clear shell, so I'm just going to wing it. Uh, what I am going to do though is I'm going to use my Dremel, which means I need to go. I don't really want to set up the camera over there for something that's going to take me about 30 seconds, so I'm just going to slide it under. I have a Dremel and a tool stand. I'm going to lock it at the height, turn it on, and just slide that under real quick. I will be right back. I got a little greedy and I took a wee bit too much. But that's okay because now this fits in like it was made for this console. Uh, with two small exceptions. In the top right and top left corners, there's just, just a hair space where the lens and the shell, you know, the small gap. I don't know what I was trying to say. Um, I can adjust for that by shaving just a hair off of these two corners as well, but I'm not going to do that. I think this is good enough. So now I want to I'm gonna reuse my foam. I mean, why not? Foam's still good. If I can get it off. Probably don't even need it. I could just stick the lens to the front or something. Um, I don't know what I was looking for. Oh, man. Don't be stingy with the foam, just cut off me a piece of foam, Jesus. Okay. No, I'm kidding, this is coming off easy enough. I wish the tape was coming off with the foam. But, I'll use new tape, I guess. Actually, I don't even need tape. What the hell? flat on here, stick it down again, and I probably, I think I need to trim the top portion of this shell as well. I don't know that that's going to fit. So that fits 
Oh, just kidding. God damn. I did not expect that to fit as well as it does. Oh, dang it. I've been trying not to swear. I'm sorry. <laughs> that just caught me by a complete surprise. But I can even still screw this screw in. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. You can barely even tell. The only sign that things are uh, not as they should be is the fact that my Game Boy logo is half underneath the bezel. And of course there's lint under the screen. As is to be expected. Alright, so I guess next mod I get really, I don't know, at this moment in time I'm thinking no, but I might end up trimming that a little just so we can see the full logo. My concern is that I don't think I can trim uh, this evenly or straightly with the tools that I have and the experience that I have rather. Uh, with the tools I have are probably fine. Um, I think the problem is with me, but there's definitely no way I can match the finish in that slight bezel. I got lucky up here, but I don't think that'll happen again. And by the way, of course, this was already trimmed for the kit, so I would have had to cut that support wall out if it wasn't already cut out. But that is so much better. Crank up the brightness here. That's nice. Of course, I should shoot it off. You can see the full screen there. Oh, you know what? I have a perfect. Cool for this. Oh, that was the wrong one. Of course it was. Nope, go back one. There we go. Uh, so you can see I, I got it cut off just a hair on this side. In my defense, though, I think the cutout and the bezel should be just a hair larger. But nonetheless, I think that's a lot better. I'm happy with that. It looks a lot better than it did before. Still looks crooked, though. <laughs> 